Okay, students, this is gonna be a quick little video about our special right triangles. So the first triangle I'm gonna start out with, and you have this in your graphic organizer at the beginning of the unit, we're gonna talk about an equilateral triangle. So if it's an equilateral triangle, we know that it's also equiangular and that each of these angles adds up to 60 degrees. What I'm gonna ask you to do is go ahead and drop this uh, vertical line here, which is gonna actually be the height of our triangle. So you're drawing in the height of the triangle. In this case, it actually is going to bisect both the angle and the segment that it is touching. Okay, so this is gonna allow us to create our first special right triangle. So I'm just gonna redraw just the right half in this case. We have our right angle. We already know this is a 60 degree and a 30 degree. We also know this is one and that this, since it was bisected from one, it's only going to be one half. So our next goal here is to find out what is this missing piece? I'm just gonna call it X. Since it is a right triangle, we are allowed to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have one half squared plus x squared is equal to one squared. So from this, we can go ahead and continue to solve for x. We subtract a fourth from each side to get three fourths. And now we're going to take the square root of both sides. So x will equal plus or minus the square root of three over two because of course the square root of four, that's a perfect square is just two. Now, since we're talking about the side of a triangle, we know that we can only use the positive radical three over two. Okay, so the smallest angle is here in this triangle and it has the smallest side. The second biggest angle is 60 and it has the second largest side. And then, of course, the largest angle, 90 degrees, has the largest length. Since we are dealing now with the radians, we want to look at this with that lens. The 30 degree, just to take you back to that unit circle, if this is 1 pi, and this right here is pi over 2, which is the same as 90 degrees, if we're talking about 30 degree chunks, we would have 30, 60, 90. 30, 60, 90. So let's think about how much of a pi is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. These are six pieces of that pi. So this is actually one sixth pi. Now let's think about what it would be with our thirds. With our thirds, it would be one third two-thirds, three-thirds. So let's think if each one of these little guys is 30, together we would have 60 degrees. And so if we're thinking about three chunks here of one whole pi, that's pi over three. So pi over three is the same as our 60, one-third pi, and one-sixth pi is the same thing here as 30 degrees. So what your job is, is to know the ratios. And this is that special right triangle that we wanna keep in mind. Okay, now let's think about if we had a different triangle. So let's think about if we had a triangle that was isosceles. So an isosceles right triangle. And we know that this side is going to be one. So that'll be given to us. Now, if it's isosceles and we've already used 90 degrees here, each of these angles are congruent to each other and they are 45 degrees. Let's call each of these congruent sides X. We're gonna go ahead and use that same Pythagorean theorem. X squared plus X squared is equal to one squared. 2x squared equals 1, x squared is equal to a half, and then we're going to, of course, take the square root of both sides 
to get x alone. x equals plus or minus 1 over the square root of 2. Because, of course, the square root of 1 is just 1. Now, we can't leave it like this. We actually need to rationalize that denominator to, in order to keep it fully simplified. So I'm going to multiply by what is really just 1. And what happens is I get plus or minus radical 2 in the numerator and just plain old 2 in the denominator because square root of 2 times itself is just 2. Since this is a length, we may only use that positive, square root of 2 over 2. Okay, now let's talk about this in terms of radians. So if we're drawing the same triangle, but now we want the radians. So the lengths are going to be exactly the same. But instead of 45 degrees, we want to see how many radians that would be. So let's think about our unit circle. And again, this is pi over 2. And let's think about this. This is 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths. And this is also 45 degrees. 45 degrees together make 90. And we know that that is worth 90 degrees. So this is actually going to be pi over 4, pi over 4, and then the 90 degree is the same as pi over 2. But we can still use that little right triangle symbol. Okay, so those are your two special right triangles. If you know both of these special right triangles, you're going to be able to evaluate all the trig functions we're looking for currently in that 